Tommy Fury. What a joke. So if you're familiar with the influencer boxing scene, then you most definitely know who Tommy Fury is. Because outside the influencer boxing scene, nobody really knows him despite him being a pro boxer and Tyson Fury's a brother. No, fuck, fuck you! You pretend fucking piece of shit! But other than that, he's garnered a lot of attention after beating two of the biggest names in YouTube boxing, KSI and Jake Paul. But is he really a good boxer? First, let's look at his resume. 10-0 with 4 knockouts. Basically, an undefeated record. But we all know undefeated records are basically padded records. When you take a look at his first 5 opponents, he literally fought fighters with longer losing streaks than Tony Ferguson. So those 4 knockouts are literally boxers with losing records. Boxers who are there to give new guys their first win. And I think that hurts. And oh, that, was that was lovely. But in his 6th fight with Jordan Grant, which he won via decision, you can see that Tommy Fury actually went to hell with Grant. And a Reddit user online says that Grant actually took the fight with 4 days notice. I'm not sure with the authenticity of that comment, so take it with a grain of salt. If that were true, it really gives you a perspective of Tommy Fury's abilities as a fighter. Going to hell with a fighter who took the fight with just a 4 day notice while he had proper training camp. And ultimately, winning only by decision. His last fight with KSI is something really not worth talking about. I don't really want to waste your guys' time talking about this, but I do want to state that I really wanted to see Tommy knock out KSI only because before the fight, KSI was mad cringy. Soon you will face reality and it will hurt you. You will be a disgrace to the Fury name. In my opinion, the Jake Paul and Fury fight was much more entertaining. Honestly, when you take a look at Jake Paul's resume, having defeated retired MMA fighters past their prime still seems to be much more impressive than defeating fighters with the most loses in boxing history. But hold on. I know a lot of you think that Jake Paul pays off these fighters. Whether it is true or not, I'd still argue that this paid off fighter still put more than Tommy Fury's first 5 fights. But at the end of the day, Tommy did prove that he beat the problem child via decision. With his last 2 fights being the biggest fights on his record, we would most likely see Tommy Fury being a much more active fighter in the influencer boxing scene. Because he most likely got a huge payday from both fighters. So there's no sense for him to take on unknown fighters, even if they are much more deserving. So we can assume that he would grow this padded record to higher places while staying undefeated. 